2012, the Gallery and Arts Foundation Mate Asociación Mario Testino opened in Lima, Peru. Mate resides in a townhouse in Barranco, originally built in 1898. The refurbishment process took 10 months after over a year securing authorizations. Testino's intentions for Mate was that his own work should have a home in his native Peru and that a platform would exist to celebrate Peruvian culture, art and artists and entice international exhibitions which had previously been inaccessible. Testino's international exhibition Todo o Nada, which had premiered in Madrid at the Museo Tyson Bonamitsa in 2010, was the natural choice to open Mate, but the second show would be a more personal work closer culturally and historically to Testino, comprising of a large body of entirely new works. The show is called Alta Moda. The interesting thing is that Alta Moda has been created specially for an exhibition. Most other exhibitions we edit the work we have, but this exhibition, we actually went and did the work specifically for this project. Over the last five years, Mario Testino has made several trips to Cusco City after discovering an archive of costumes from the mountain regions, such as Oriente, Tambo, and Urubamba. I came across this school of dancing called Filigranas Peruanas, and they have this extensive collection of traditional costumes that they use for the festivals in the mountains. In the 1980s, shortly after Testino came to England, he went to an exhibition at the Photographer's Gallery featuring the work of Peruvian photographer Martin Shambi, which left a lasting impression on him. Shambi documented the people of Cusco from the early 1900s to the 1950s against specially painted backdrops. The American photographer Irving Penn, a regular contributor to Vogue magazine, visited Peru in the 70s to create his own images of the traditional costumes. With Alta Moda, Testino decided to continue this journey, extending a cultural tradition into a photographic tradition. Working closely with Shambi's grandson, he borrowed the recreated backdrops from the Shambi archive and began his own contemporary document. Tradition is something that completely obsesses me. And in Peru, their costumes seem to be the thread through it. And part of this thread is the way that these costumes are done, which is their weaving. This is a tradition that goes back many, many centuries and that they hold on to today because this weaving protects these people from the cold and the conditions that they live in, but also it reflects the way that they communicate. Every piece that is sewn onto these dresses means something. It means the status of a woman, it means the family they come from, the area they come from. So this is something very important for these communities. The title Alta Moda is a play on words, literally meaning high fashion in Spanish, referring to both the high altitude origin of the dresses and the exclusive designs of Parisian haute couture, the highest form of dressmaking. The Alta Moda exhibition makes this connection by featuring five couture dresses designed by John Galliano for the 2005 Christian Dior Autumn Winter Collection, which took inspiration from Peruvian costume. Most of the photos that I do are to do with capturing people and their emotions and their personalities. For this particular project, it was different because it's not so much about the people but about the dresses. It's a very personal work for me because it's not so desperate about the latest thing and about the instant, but it is obsessed about accumulating the past and documenting it and bringing it back to relevance to today. The past is the backdrop, the present is the color. I guess my sense of color has been greatly influenced by these dresses. 
Acknowledged for his mastery of capturing the moment, Testino has spent his career at the forefront of fashion and the contemporary aesthetic. But with Alta Moda, he's done something very different, compressing time and history into each frame. The traditional clothing, the shambi backdrops, and the Peruvian subjects. There is a certain responsibility in my generation to hold on to certain things and passing them on to our future and to the people that will come. And I find that a photographer has this responsibility for documenting everything he can so that it's used later on as a form of inspiration and of education. This project has helped me realize that I form part of a history of photography of Peru. Thank you.